you also I wonder Wendy whether you might give us a bit of an information about the um the SA licensing in uh Scotland I know I read the whole thing when it came out um and I remember thinking oh one of them was if you had more than five apartments in a block then it wouldn't count and so where are they at now what what has been implemented it's it's different in every region every local authority is is putting their own criteria so in edinburgh they're being very strict in some of the other areas you know they're they're kind of not as strict um so essentially we need to have planning permission for change of use to be able to use the property as serviced accommodation and then we also need to apply for a license so it's a bit like the landlord registration scheme you register the property um, and then you're going to have to provide evidence that it's been rented out as a holiday home um, for a certain number of days. And again, that's that's varying across across local authorities. So where, wherever you're purchasing and, and setting up service accommodation, then you need to kind of check in with the local authority and find out what those area rules are. Is it going to be easy so, to reverse it, for instance? So let's say you, you had somewhere and you wanted, you know, you gain the planning. Is it just an additional planning permission to run as as SA or is it a complete use class change? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure because it's not affecting um, what we're in at the moment. Um, but that's certainly something because of the us are already existing. We've got until April this year. Um, but I know that some local authorities haven't even got the regulation. Um, and it's the main part of it is. is safe so a bit like the landlord registration you're going to have to show evidence of your gas safety um your electrical certificates the fire doors all of those kind of things need to be in place which you know if you know we've done that anyway because we wanted to we want to make sure that our properties are safe whether that's for tenants you know or for guests so you know from our point of view it's a good thing you know we're already ticking most of the boxes so it's just going to cost us a few hundred quid a year extra to have that um registration in place but of course what it is doing is it means that there are some people where their property is no longer suitable for service accommodation therefore they're having to either sell it or you know put it back to rental or or do something else with it so 